Welcome to another beautiful day here at Mills Motors located at 240 Bond Street East in Oshawa. Today we're having a look at the 2016 Buick Encore Leather All-Wheel Drive shown here in the gorgeous white pearl tri-coat and under the hood you'll find a 1.4 liter four-cylinder engine with six-speed automatic transmission. Taking a look at the inside of the vehicle now, the upholstery is all leather and just down here are the controls for the six-way power adjustable driver's seat, including lumbar. And up here are the seat and mirror memory options, which is a very handy feature. So instead of having to adjust the seat and mirror every time you get in the vehicle, simply set your preferences as either driver one or driver two. And then as you're getting in the vehicle, uh, the, uh, the vehicle will adjust the seat and mirrors for you. Taking a look at the driver's side door, there is plenty of storage along the bottom here. <clears throat> Excuse me. As well, there are some controls up here, which include power lock and unlock, window locks, power windows, and power mirrors. And up here we have this beautiful wood grain trim. So stepping inside the vehicle now, to the left here we have the exterior light controls. And just below that there is a small storage compartment for the driver. On the left hand side of the steering wheel are cruise control options and behind that are the indicators. On the right hand side of the steering wheel, these uh, here are the stereo controls and these two buttons here are for hands free communication. As well behind that are the wipers. Taking a look up here at this color screen, there are many options uh, available. So this vehicle does come equipped with AM, FM and XM radio. There are also multiple ways of connecting a mobile device to listen to music from that. So these include USB, auxiliary, and Bluetooth. Moving down from there, right here we have the traction control button and the lights for the, the hazard lights. And down here uh, are the controls for the screen up above and for the stereo system. So this dial on the top here will turn the stereo system on and off and control the volume. This dial down below will help you navigate the menu and choose a radio station. This home button will take you to this main screen with all of the options displayed. And this source button will help you switch easily between AM, FM, and XM radios. Moving down from there, there is a CD player, and then we have the temperature controls. So this vehicle is equipped with dual climate zones in the front seat. So using this dial to control the driver's seat temperature, and this dial to control the passenger seat temperature, I can show you up on the screen here how I can set the driver's seat temperature to let's say 16 and the passenger seat temperature to let's say 24. So this just makes for a more comfortable drive for both the driver and the passenger. As well this button in the center here is, uh, is for fan speed and this top button is for front window defrost and just below that is the rear window defrost. On this dial as well, you can see uh, there is an option to have a heated steering wheel, which is very nice in the cold winter days. As well, uh, both the driver's seat and passenger seats can be heated, which again, very nice in the winter time. Just below that, there is a small ledge to store some, uh, some small loose items you may have up here. And then down below, there is even more storage space. And at the back, you can see there is an auxiliary power outlet. And under this flap here, there is a USB port and an auxiliary input. So moving in between the seats now, the, this here is the parking brake, and then we have the two cup holders. And just uh, down here, there is a small storage space. So simply press here and pull backwards, and uh, there's plenty of storage room in there. As well, there is this uh, armrest for the driver. Uh, if it is more comfortable, you can keep it down. Or if you uh, find it uncomfortable, you can simply pull it up and uh, it folds nicely there. So taking a look at the passenger side of the vehicle now, there is an upper glove box. Uh, so open it just by pressing that button there. And it does provide a small amount of storage. And then there is a larger glove box down below, which provides even more storage. And then of course some storage on the driver's, or sorry, passenger side door. The power lock and unlock, power window controls, and ending it off with that beautiful wood grain trim. Have a look at those gorgeous 18 inch aluminum wheels as we make our way to the back of the vehicle. And located just underneath this Buick logo here is the color backup camera, which displays its picture on the screen inside the vehicle. And this is a very handy feature when you're trying to back into some of those tighter spaces, especially in a busy parking lot. 
So to open up this trunk now, there is a button located just underneath this handle here. So simply press that and pull upwards and the trunk will open very nicely for you. Taking a look inside now, there is plenty of storage room. As well, there are two little compartments, one on the left hand side and one on the right hand side. And this is very nice to keep some smaller items separate from the rest of the cargo back here. There are also hooks on the left and right hand side of the trunk, which makes it very easy to attach a net or rope to keep things in place back here and make sure nothing moves around too much. As well, there is this very nice removable cargo cover, which does move with the trunk. And again, this is very nice to keep things in place and to protect the items you may have stored back here. So to close this trunk up now, there is a handle located on the right hand side up here. So simply grab a hold of that, pull downwards and the trunk will close very nicely. Taking a look at the rear passenger side door now, there are many storage compartments as well as the power window controls. And looking at these back seats, they do fall forward, which allows for more trunk space. Uh, so to do it, it's kind of in two steps here. So this uh, seat part, there is a tab just down here. So simply grab a hold of that and pull forward and uh, the seat kind of pulls forward there. And then uh, to move this backrest, there is a button located just here. So simply push that and pull forward and it will lie nicely on the seat portion. And then as you can see, it gives you more room, uh, more trunk space to store some more items. So to put the seats back, simply push this one back to where it was before and you'll hear a click when it's in place and then the seat simply do the same so push it back down and it will sit nicely uh, so getting into the back seat now there is plenty of storage space located behind both the passenger seat and the driver's seat as well behind the center console there is a power outlet and as i turn around you can see that this back seat sits three people quite comfortably However, if no one is taking up that center seat, you can simply pull down on this tab and down comes the center folding armrest with two cup holders, which makes for a very convenient and comfortable drive for the people in the back. What a fantastic vehicle, both inside and out, and it just keeps getting better. As this vehicle is equipped with the safety and connectivity of OnStar, it also has its own 4G LTE hotspot, which means you can connect your mobile devices to Wi-Fi while in the vehicle, which makes some of those longer journeys seem just a little bit shorter. So ladies and gentlemen, once again, this is the 2016 Buick Encore Leather All-Wheel Drive, shown here in the very nice white pearl tint tri-coat. And under the hood, you'll find a 1.4 liter four-cylinder engine with six-speed automatic transmission. If you would like to test drive this vehicle, we are located at 240 Bond Street East in Oshawa, and we would be very happy to show you that we will do whatever it takes.